Amen. 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 I don't know about you, but my heart has been touched yes, Lord. by the Word of God yes, already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just good to be in the house of the Lord, yes, Lord. and to break the bread of life. Mm -hmm. Let us bow our heads for a moment. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you for every man, every woman, every girl, every boy that's assembled in your house. Amen. We ask you, Lord God, to reveal unto them through your holy word Amen. the direction in which they should go. Not the direction that I think they should go, but the direction you think they will go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That they'll be able to serve you with a pure heart fervently, Lord, with love in their heart one toward another. We ask you, Lord God, to open your word to our hearts, that we may understand, that we may have the knowledge to do the things that's according to your will and according to your way. We praise and bless your holy and righteous name. Remove us far from the minds and eyes of these people. Yes, Lord. If they don't get sideways and see me and miss you, Yes, Lord. It is you, Lord God, that's going to save All them. About you, it's you, Lord God, that's going to lift them. It's All you, Lord God, Jesus. that's going to exalt them. And you know more than we know and better than we know. So we ask you to guide us and keep us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We do praise and thank you forever and forevermore. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I'm going to introduce myself because I, I find myself saying sometimes, people may not know who I am. My name is uh, Minister Richard Charles Cables, and I stand in the presence of an almighty God. Amen. All right, then. Every day of your life, you stand in his presence. To the men of God, the men on the roster, all my brothers and sisters in Christ, we have a word penned in the fourth chapter of the book of James. Looking at the 17th verse, book of James, 4th chapter, 17 verse. <clears throat> if you've been living in the same world that I've been living in, right now, and you know the same Jesus that I know, right now. I'm sure you feel some of the things that I feel throughout the days Jesus. and nights. Why being in this world? That's James, fourth chapter, looking at the 17th verse. Everybody there? Amen. Amen. <coughs> Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. <laughs> Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him, it is sin. Amen? Amen? Let's talk about rejecting Christ for worldliness. Amen. Rejecting Christ for worldliness. Day in and day out, we surrounded with all manners of evil and people that are not looking to Jesus as author and finisher of our faith. We find ourselves toiling sometimes, trying to choose between my friend and my associates and my buddies in this world. But I would elect for you today, over your friend and your buddy and your family, whoever it may be, choose Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Now, that may make it difficult for us, difficult, very difficult, when we don't know God's word. You can't make a choice without knowing his word because in his words are in his word is hid the very knowledge that you need to make a viable choice. Paul said that every man be persuaded by his own opinion. Amen. But let it be a good one. See, you ought not tell nobody nothing to say nothing to nobody that you can't back up from the word of God. Amen. Amen. Right. When you when you think you know something and, and you're not doing what God's will, you're Choosing other things over God's will, whether it's yours or your friends or whoever it might be. You better 
The writer lets us know that if we know better, we ought to do better. Because there's not, not an option. There's not an option. How are you going to raise your children to live for Christ if you don't know how to live for him yourself? Amen. You're not just, you're not just letting yourself down, my brothers and sisters, because you really know that it's not about you and you ain't pretty enough, you ain't tall enough, you ain't heavy enough, you ain't short enough. It takes the word of God to change men's heart. And you need to have the word of God because you look, you got the word of God? You wouldn't be so mad at your wife or your husband or your friend or your neighbor if you got the word of God because you know God knows all things, right? Amen. God know, 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 how, know how your neighbor was going to be. Amen. He know how your wife was going to be. He know how your children was going to be. Amen. He know how your husband was going to be. So if you think God is wiser than you or you wiser than God, you walk around talking about you can't stand somebody and then they take out your nose turned up. But your nose ain't turned up at your neighbor. All right, your nose ain't turned up at your wife or your husband or your friend. Your nose is really turned up to God. Right, because you failed to acknowledge him for who he is. No matter how bad or how deceiving one or another may be, God has the ability to change hearts and he want to use you and I to do it. That's why he tells us to have love in our heart one toward another. It'll take out some of the malice and God and bitterness that the adversary is stuck in my pocket or my pocket. Some of the things that caused me to want to be mean. Can, can you break up a smile because you carry all this stuff around in your heart? To let God be the ruler of your life is your awesome duty. You better say it. The Proverbs say the whole duty of man is to worship God and keep his commandments. Right. Do what God said do above anything else that's going on in your life. Yes, people ain't got to be nice to you, but you got to be nice to people. Yes, right. When you're serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, right. But he talked to us, he said, when you know what's right to do, and then you won't do it. Oh God, oh God. Huh? Oh God. You know what's right to do. Mm -hmm. And then you won't do it? Mm -hmm. To you it's sin. Amen. Amen. In other words, I'm rejecting Christ for whatever I'm looking at. You better say it. I'm rejecting him. Mm. My Jesus. And it, it, it bothers me. Mm -hmm. As a minister of Jesus Christ. To see not just people, see churches going in the wrong direction. Amen. Amen. Talking about everything, doing everything Amen. but what God said do. Right. It ought to disturb you. It does. You ought not be satisfied watching me walk off into the fire mm -hmm. and not tell get me to come back. You better Amen. say that. Oh, he grown, that's his business. All right now. The Bible says, preach the word when? In season. In season and out of season. With proof, with proof, with all long suffering. I'm talking to you because I love you. I ain't got no hell in the hell to put you in. I just love you. And I don't want to see you destroyed because of some malice thing in the world. Why is talking to us about doing the will of God? Over Worldliness. Yes. Overworldliness. Doing the things that make my flesh happy. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Doing the things that's going to cause me to be separated from Christ. Amen. Yes. The writer talked about and, and said, look, and who, who mad at somebody? I, I know people get mad at you, don't they? Amen. You get mad at somebody? Amen. My mama told me when I was a little boy, she said, teeth and tongue fall out sometimes. That ain't no big deal. But the Bible said, don't let the sun go down on you. You ought not have so much malice and guile in your heart that you can't remember that's my brother, that's my sister. In Christ, you, you ought not let that go beyond that. He said, once coming 
fighting wars and fighting among you. Amen. Come they not his? Yeah. Even if you lost, that you war in your members. Uh -huh. Oh Lord, it ain't my brother, it ain't my sister. It's me, it's in my member. I need to get it right in me. Now the adversary is going to use what he got in you. He's going to use what he got. He's going to always blind your eye to you. The, the, the lady song, song a while ago talking about I'm too close to the mirror to see what God see in me. I need to see that I'm for Jesus Christ. When we find ourselves marching towards that heavenly kingdom, we are not find ourselves tied up in the lust of the world. Yes. Amen. We we lust it. We don't have what we want, right? Amen. We kill, we kill, we kill, and, des and desire to have, and can't can't get this, can't get your hands on it. Look like you were just so close to getting what you needed in the world. They say, I saw it in the same the third song, didn't it? He said, look, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked, uh -huh. he said, my feet were darn not gone. I had well not slept. Uh -huh. In other words, he had a, a knowledge of the word of God to know that he was out of position looking at what was going on in the world and how the people were prospering and doing evil. But he had a knowledge like you have. Mm -hmm. He said, when I went into the sanctuary of the Lord, when the Holy Spirit that was living in me right. began to tell me about how this was going to come to the end, mm -hmm. he knew that everything in the world is going to come to know. It's going to come to know. I don't care how big your house is, what kind of car you drive. And man, we buried some folk that had a lot of money. But then nobody walk up to the coffin and throw nothing in the grave with You better say it. You better say it. The bank manager didn't come to the funeral. Amen. He managed money. He don't try to manage people. Come on, come on. So we find ourselves lusting after things so hard and then not able to just grasp them or get our hand on them like we want. Every time you reach it, you reach past Jesus. You reach around Jesus. You reach over Jesus. Under Jesus. Jesus. Who's standing right there. Say, behold, I'm standing at the door knocking. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. And if you open him, he'll come in. Yes, he will. Yes, and stop with you. Yes, he will. And you with him. If you just open up to him. Yes, he but we're still reaching out to all the things that's in the world. Amen. Amen. Yes, he will. We kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because you don't even think to ask Jesus for what you want. Right. The writer said, look, tell me, let, me, let me talk to you real. Cause your life. Huh? Because I want you to know. I want you to have an understanding. You ask for it, then you don't receive it. Amen? Because you ask a myth. You ask not even believing you're going to get it yourself. Come on. He just rallied off before the folk. I, I can remember as a young man, as a young man, my, my Bible teacher used to try to guide me in the right way. Yeah. And, and the one thing he said threw me off. He said, boy, he said, some of them prayers is still going round and round in these walls. <laughs> huh? Jesus. I said, what? <laughs> See, the prayer wasn't about Jesus or what Jesus wanted. It was all about me. That's what I wanted. That's right. And what I wanted to happen. So, so you know, when, when we see stuff like this, we need to be steadfast, unmovable. The Bible tells us, say, after you've done all to stand. That's right. He didn't say, oh, I did my best. I'm through. <laughs> huh? That ain't, what, that ain't what the scriptures say. But you need to know the scripture to know it. Stop giving up on folks and giving out on folks because you malnourished yourself in the word of God. He said, having done all to stand, well, how you stand? You stand now by having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
Yeah. In other words, you ain't for no junk. Yeah. Or to do nothing to keep up no disturbance. Yeah. Or to keep everything on a rumble. Yeah. You need to have some way to get to some peace. And you need to have within you before you can pass it on to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Having your feet shod with the preparation of God's for peace. Right. Having on the breastplate of righteousness. Right. You want to do what's right. Yep. Having on the shield right. of faith. Yes. And the helmet. That's, that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's what it's all about. No matter what you do, no matter what you don't do, no matter what you gain and what you don't gain, if you miss your salvation, yes. if you miss the helmet of salvation, yeah. running out of this stuff, it ain't nothing God or me can do or anybody can do for you. God is giving you an opportunity right now to make a choice. Stop rejecting folk because you don't like what they say or you don't like what they do or you don't like how they look. And realize that it's God you rejected. Huh? He said, you are adulterers and adulteresses. What you doing? Are you cheating on God for the thing that's in the world? And thank God don't know it. And then turn right around and say, he long now. He God is he he my El shall die. Yeah. Boy, he my El shall die. But I think I can play games with him like I do with my brothers and my sisters. You can't play no game with God. Amen. God knows you. And, and he made you and he knows all about you. Amen. He knows your thoughts before you think them. Yeah, 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 you just said earlier. Yeah, we just said it earlier. When you think about people, you need to think about God. Amen. Who was it? What, what, what was it? Ben, was it ben Franklin? Said, if you look for something wrong in a man, uh, you're going to find it. Because you ain't looking for Jesus. What you need to be doing is looking for Jesus in those folks. Huh? Be looking for Jesus in those folks. And then you'll see, he, you say, Jesus said, love covers a what? I had a woman testify the other day of all the hell she went through in her marriage. Mm -hmm. Huh? All right. But she trusted Jesus. Sure when she knew the thing, she was out of it. Hey. Huh? Yeah. But because just because she trusted Jesus. Peace. Hey man. Y'all, y'all, y'all better come on. You had dodges and adulterers. Know you not that. The friendship of the world is enmity with God? Amen. Did you not know that? Amen. Do that not click on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Yes, when you're making friends with the world? Right and when you make friends with the world, you make God your enemy? Sure hmm. I don't care who you are. Like it or don't like it. Richard Capers or any other Capers. Brown, Thomas, or Jeff, or whoever you may be. When you choose the world over God, you make God your enemy. Amen? Amen. That's what the word said. I didn't say it. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of this world is the enemy of God. All the stuff they got going on in the world, all the jokes they tell it. All the lies. Hate. You, you need to iron out. You, you, you went to the lot. You went and got your clothes and picked them out this morning. Did you inspect them? Did you see if there was a tear or a rip or linen or lint or something all over? Mm -hmm. Did they wrinkle all up? Did you press them out? That's all God telling you to do with your life. Yeah. Yeah. Check yourself. Yeah. They don't, hear you. don't wait till nobody else check you. They check don't yourself. They don't hear you. Then you won't be so mad when somebody say you ain't right. Yeah. You won't be so upset. You won't be separated, looking like you together. Yeah. <laughs> the word of God is powerful, and the Bible says it's powerful than any two-edged sword. Yes. It cuts going yes. and it cuts coming. Right. But glory to God, if it cut me and give me the knowledge to understand that I was in the right, the wrong position, let it cut me, and I get a chance to get it right. Get right. Get right. Hallelujah. Thank you. A bump on your head. Y'all, 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 y'all watch this here. Stop, Johnny. Stop. Stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
The minute they do something and hurt themselves, they just cry and come, and they ain't going back to do that no more. So that's what God is telling us. Stop doing the things over and over and over and over and over again. Because I like her, so I ain't going to say nothing about what's wrong or right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You got preachers that are select certain sermon because it might hit somebody I know. Yeah. Well, I, that's why I, don't, I don't care about knowing nothing about everybody, what they, they, they demeanor is. I got some friends that I love to death, but I'd hate to know I stood in the altar of God and skipped over God's word because say that, say it was going to call them into account for what it is they were doing. Say that, say that. Hmm. They got a thing saying in the world if the shoe fit, you're right. Don't care who it is or where they come from. Do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in you, that dwelleth in us, lusteth to envy? It's, you got that already in you. The job is to get it out. Amen. You know what the, you know what the Bible says? That if, if you are of the world and you of Christ, y'all communication is cut. Because if you carnal and you spiritual, what communion have light with darkness? Are you trying to be somebody's friend that you can't be their friend no way, no how? I remember when I was in my early 20s, I had a friend that was my best buddy. Yeah. When I figured out all the stuff that he liked to do and wanted to do and was doing, I said to myself, how in the name of God you chose a friend like that? <laughs> Cause when the people, I know some people right now, they won't, they won't hear nothing you say nothing. because of who you got on your arm. You better say because that. of the company you keep. You say that. Bible says can two walk together except they agree. Right. Right. I'm talking to me now. I ain't talking to y'all yet. God let God talk to y'all. I'm talking to me. Preach, doctor. Let the word go out. Preach. When you, when, you, when you see that you're becoming an enemy of God, you'll know this right here. God giving his grace. Huh? Wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but giving grace unto the humble. Oh, you walking around with your chest stuck out? Mm -hmm. uh, so we used to say when I was a young boy, some people be walking so straight and so tall. So you better turn your nose down, boy. You go round in the rain. <laughs> you don't even know. You, just, you got your heart filled up, built up, but you above anything you walking by. Yeah. You don't even see them, won't acknowledge them, won't do nothing, but they look right at you. Amen. Knowing what your demeanor is. You ain't got to tell folks who you are. Your life that you live and the way you carry yourself or tell people who you are. You say that. I got a grin for you and a frown for you and a no face expression at all for you. God knows it. People know it. God won't allow no allow you to walk back. He won't even let you deceive his elect. The people that's his. That's right. That's right. Man, this is this is powerful for us to. Submit yourself now for the God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil. Yes. Here, get on out your way. Mm -hmm. I had a friend of mine one time. She used to brag about how many folks built a house on Friday and Saturday. Mm. I said, well, uh, since stop buying that bill, uh -huh. <laughs> cooking all that food, uh -huh. feeding them on Friday night, feeding them Saturday, they're going to disappear. You better say it. She came to me one day, she said, Brother Cable, you sure told the truth. She stopped cooking, stopped spending half a check on Friday on beer and whiskey, and the folks stopped coming. See, that's all you gotta do is find out. Your friend will come to you if you ain't got nothing to give. You better say that. Your friend will come to you when you need something. You don't hear me. You better say that. But if you're a friend in this world, you remember that you're an enemy to God. Amen? Amen. Humble yourselves in the sight of God. Humble yourselves in the sight of God of the Lord. And he shall lift you up. Thank you, Jesus. Just humble yourself. 
You remember the man that was praying in the temple? There was two of them in there now. I want y'all to get on one side because he was a good church man. He stood and he held himself high with pride. You heard the scripture say about pride, right? Lord, I thank you that I'm not like this other fella here. Oh, I pay my tithes. I give of all I got, I pay my tithes. You hear people running around talking about they paid their tithes? They looking for some glory for some man or somebody else or something else. Huh? Because if you didn't know it, God didn't need your time. He just wants you to help the church progress. The writer has laid it out for us and made it plain to us. Speak not evil one of another. Huh? Stop talking about your brothers and your sisters. You know, sometimes I have to catch myself too. And I'll be glad when I be talking to a brother and sister because they say, brother, you know you ain't going to talk about nobody. <laughs> huh? That's what your brothers and sisters do you. They'll pull you back say, oh, wait a minute. Huh? Don't bring nothing on yourself trying to talk about somebody else that may not even be worthy of talking about. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Amen. Speak not evil one of another, brother, that he that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother, yes, speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. Look out, mm. Look huh? Out. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer, huh? Of the law, but a judge. You didn't change position. You didn't know it though. You didn't change position. There, but now this going he going the right am I'm glad they don't leave you out there like that. Amen. He said there is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. And it ain't me and you. It's not me and you and I. I'm trying to get my English right then. Y'all get it? Uh, it's, not, it's not you and I. Amen? We're, we're, not, we're not the one that's going to say, you go to hell and you come on into my kingdom and rest. Huh? I know y'all think y'all got some folk that's going to be able to stand in the gap for you. But if you don't know, I read in the scripture. It say if the righteous scarcely be saved, where well, shall the sinners and ungodly appear? If you have done everything God has signed on your heart, that do you ain't got nothing. To pay. Well, as I love my little boy, I ain't got nothing. Well, as I love, I ain't got nothing to pass to them when it comes to entering God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. My mama said every tub had to sit on his own bottom. This is what God has laid out for us. Huh? Amen. You, know, you, you talk about what you're going to do, how you're going to do, what you want, what you're going to get. And you ought to say, if the Lord will, I'll do this and that. Huh? That's right. If the Lord will, put God, put God, put God, put God out there, out there. That's right. That's it. God will train you every conversation. And my friend said, what you say, brother, uh, uh, brother Cable? Oh, no, they call me Richard, Clance, or whatever you call What you say? I say, the Bible says such and such thing. Yes, Lord. Man, he's he, he four in the world now. He said, I said, the Bible says such and such thing. Man, I don't want to know what the Bible says. I want to know what you say. He argued with me, amen? amen. But he got good system enough not to try to argue with the word of God. Right now. And if, and if a man in the world and thank him in the word, because that same man told me one day, I said, bro, I'm going to preach my first sermon Sunday. He said, it's going to take a lot of preaching to get me. <laughs> Went on through the week, got to Friday. He up there trying to sell dope at the store. Somebody run over me and broke him all up. Oh. I walked in the emergency room, and all his sisters were standing there on the wall, and I said, what in the world going on? All these folks, I grew up with them. We, we ate out the same plate. Oh, Hit off the same piece of chicken. What was going on? Say she said, Rat. I said, What? Yep. Oh, my. Yep. Then I heard a still voice. Jesus. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Hey. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey. I'm trying to do it like he was doing it, but I can't do it. Because you got the house. Of, you know God knows when you're crying to him when you want something. Yeah. He knows the difference. Huh? Yeah. He knows the difference. Yeah. So I said, well, so. When I seen Red after he got well, I said, Red, mm -hmm. you told me it was going to take a lot of preaching to get you, boy. Mm -hmm. 
But man, I ain't heard nobody in church call the Lord like you call him. You <laughs> calling him, man. You say, I needed some help. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They went to you in a dying situation. To call him, call him when everything's when good. That's right. That's right. That's call him when, you, when, when, when it don't seem that nobody wants you to call him. You call him. Yeah. Talk to him day in and day out that you can live for him, that you can die for him. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is calling us into a, 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 a space where he rules. Where he takes over. Mm -hmm. Wherefore ye know not what shall be on the morrow. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Or what is your life? Mm -hmm. You live it, you live it day to day? Mm. Moment to moment? You don't you don't know what's gonna happen the next oh. moment, do you? Amen. Huh? God knows though. That's right. God knows if your heart is black or whether your heart is yeah, open to him or not. He knows, but you don't know. He knows it. Yes, he does. He got, he got, God, God knows so much, he got up into the family life one time. And, and he told the man, he said, don't put your wife away now. That's right. And don't you put your husband away. That's right. And this is how he concluded. He said, how you know, old man? How you know? You think you smart? Think you know? How you know whether you can save your wife or not? He's supposed to be telling, telling the word of God. Or how know if thou a woman whether or not they can stop, I can save thy husband. If you do, if you're using the word of God in your life, somebody got the one person argue, the other person ought to be quiet. Amen. Uh, I used to hear my mama do it, I didn't know what she was doing at the time. Mm. When everything was in the uproar, no peace nowhere. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Yeah. She ain't turned no answer to nobody. Unless it was her Lord. So that's all. And then the Holy Spirit told me this earlier. We don't take time out to teach our children even how to be saved. Amen. Right now. We don't take time. We know so much. We know, look, some of us got jobs that take a lot of knowledge to operate. Mm -hmm. But we won't tell our children how to stay out of fornication. Mm -hmm. Huh? How to stay out of lying. How to stay out of stealing. We won't even go, go, go that far. We'll tell them everything and beat them because they, we think they already know. But the Bible says bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. Amen. So therefore, you got to tell them right from wrong. Amen. And then, I can't tell you. I, I hate to use my testimony. I cannot tell you how many times as a man and a young man, I had my foot way in the air and to step into something I couldn't have crawled back out of. All right now. But because I had a little knowledge about the word of God, yes, someone always picked me on my yes. shoulder. So you going to do that? Yeah. You going to go there? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you got it, then you can use it. But if you ain't got it, you can't use it. You all been broken, wanted to buy a loaf of bread. You can't buy it. You ain't got nothing to buy it with. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. And then that, we always talk about we struggling. We can't get through. Just give it. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. Why you worried about it if you ain't got it? You don't know where you get it. Why you worried about it if you ain't got it? Jesus said, my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. But Jesus had a knowledge now. He said, the birds of the nest, birds of the air have nests. Mm -hmm. Foxes got holes. Right. But the son of man had not a place to lay his head. Mm -hmm. And was not worried about it because he knew everything on this side was temporal. Yeah. All right now. It's going to come to an end. Amen. All right. You live 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100 years here and don't know that Jesus Christ is authored and finished your life? Mm -hmm. Stop letting the world turn you upside down and turn you around. It's, it's dead by time for me to get out. I'm up here, okay? Remember now that God is a rebuker of worldliness. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it like this. All y'all know the scripture. You're in the world. But you're not of the world. That's right. 
Golly, what else I got to tell you? You in the world, but you're not of the world. Scripture said, man, go, if you resist the devil, He'll flee from you. That's right. Sure enough, we'll do it. Yeah. Line out. Line by line, precept by precept. The second chapter of Peter. Second Peter, second chapter. If y'all want to be in a hurry, don't make me wait on you. Huh? Take your time. See, it's all about stopping you from being a Christian. Mm -hmm. All about stopping you from living like Christ. For taking the life that he wants you to take. Because it's not popular. The Bible said what? There's a gate. There's a narrow gate. Mm -hmm. And it leads to life. But there's another gate. And it's a broad gate. Broadway. But it leads to destruction. Do you wonder why there's, more, there's less people in church than it is at the concert? Mm -hmm. You better say it. Do you really do you do that in your mind? I know sometimes you hate missing the concert. But that's your flesh that hate missing. That's right. Amen. Really, we don't have time to do nothing else but serve God. That's it, Doctor. That's your whole duty. I said, you know, all the stuff, if they took every TV out of the house, mm -hmm. that's time for you to use to learn more about God. We know more about the, the things that go on in the world than we will ever try to know about Christ. Second Peter, were we there? 19. This is what this is what goes on now in the world. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome of the same, he is brought into bondage. Whatever kind of lifestyle you practicing, uh -huh. that's you a slave to that lifestyle. Speak. Right now, speak. You're a servant to that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If you're serving the world and doing the world, that's just where you are. Don't come to church on Sunday and think you can serve the world for, for seven days. Now you all right. But I ain't no repenting or nothing going on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, they did it too. You better not worry about what they did. You better, better focus on what you do yourself. That right. Amen. That right. For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the oh y'all watch out now, watch out now. For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world, you know what he said all that stuff in the world was right. Y'all hear him talking about pollution now, don't you? People walk around with masks on to escape the pollution of the world. Mm -hmm. Huh? But the writer said, after they have escaped the pollution of the world, Jesus Christ got you out of there. Yeah. He got you all of, what what Pastor Bone, the muck and mire. Mm. Jesus Christ came and took you up out of there. Thank you for telling me. My Bible teacher say, you mean to tell me somebody <laughs> paid your bond out of jail? And you gonna go break back up in there? <laughs> yes, indeed. Lord have mercy. After you have escaped yes. huh, the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. They are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them. Then the beginning? Yes, Lord. That's all, all he said was if you don't take the first drink, mm -hmm. huh? That's right. If you don't take the first drink, you got a chance to hang. Mm -hmm. But after you take the first drink, it's easier for you to take the second drink. You say after that. you tell the first lie, it's okay. easier for you to tell the second lie. Okay. After you commit adultery the first time, it's easier for you to do it the second time. Easier. Huh? But whatever it is in life that you do after you get a, 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 a habitual flow of it, it can either like it's just natural for you. And that's what has happened to us across the years. And then we'll, we'll say, down through the years, the Lord been good to me. 
Just imagine how good the Lord would be to you if you obeyed him. Amen. That's it. That's it. If you just obeyed him. Yeah. Oh, we know he's been good because I did everything I could do. The Lord been good to me. <laughs> he didn't kill me when I was over sister, sister Sally's house. <laughs> over at brother so and so house. The Lord been good to me. Yes, Lord. But you have, you have, you have to control yourself. Help me, Lord. The Bible said, mortify the deeds of your body. Yes. Huh? Get them. For it had been better if they didn't know than to know it and then don't do it. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's it. We talked about the things that are of God and the things that's of the world. And when we find ourselves, it says it like this. But it has happened unto them according to the true Proverbs. Reach about, you know what Proverbs say. Huh? And you'll know that it's exactly what Proverbs say. It has happened to them according to the true Proverbs. The dog is again turned to his mother. Huh? And again, the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. It's easy for you to go back into the world. You better say it. If that's what you're about. Right. Say that. God has called you out of the world. Sure. Yeah. Thank he has called you out. Thank you, Lord. My, la my last scripture coming up. I'm going to get out y'all's hair. Amen? Amen? Amen. Looking at the book of Luke. Mm -hmm. Looking at Luke. 12th chapter. Get out of the way, Mark. Come on, Luke. Hey, yeah. Come on now. Anybody there? Luke, 12th chapter, looking at verse 41. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Here we go. Luke 12. Hold on, somebody say. 41. 41. Amen. See, see, you don't know. My daughter asked me one time about something I don't know, and she was one of the most stirring in the pot people I ever known in my life. And when she was graduating from college, I told her, I said, life is just a test. It's up to you whether you pass or fail. Right now. It's just a test. It's just a test. Everything you go through in life, it's already been done before. The Bible said there's nothing new under the sun. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I used to, when I was a young preacher, I used to always get a, the parable of the washing machine. You put in a new load of clothes every day, or time after time, the washing machine take them through the same cycle. Yes, sir. That's what life do. Life take you through a cycle. <laughs> if you listen at your elder folks, if they anyways got any kind of Christ in them, you will miss some of them pitch. That's right. That's right. Huh? You won't be stumbling so much. If you, if you live there, they'll, they'll teach you. You better say it. Because I know when I was coming along, they just did not give us the information that I try to pass out now. And I, sometimes they come back to me. A young man I talk to every day, all he could talk about was women. Women, women, women. Women, and I better tell him, man, you got a wife at home, got family. He said, la, 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 la. He called me one day. I'm telling him to bed. He said, Brother Cables, Say, I went to my hometown and I picked up a, a, a lady there. And we took us a ride. And when we got ready to handle our business, he said, You were sitting on the front seat. Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Huh? The man said, You were sitting on the front seat. I said, What? He said, Every move I make, you were saying, Now you know you're better than me. He said, man, I had to come on back home, put that woman out, and say the first thing I saw when I drove into town was my wife and son. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If we talk to one another, talk to one another like me and talk to one another like women. That's right. That was the truth. Y'all need to keep that thing up. I'm for the woman, no, I'm for the man. I ain't for nobody. I'm for righteousness. Amen. Amen. I ain't no damn whether it's a man or a woman. Amen. I'm for righteousness. Don't let the devil fool you with that female and male stuff. God set the order in the family and everywhere else. Mm -hmm. Follow God's order, amen? Right. Yes. Follow God's order. 
Listen at this right here. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speaketh thou this parable unto us or even to all? Jesus answered him back and said, Who then is the faithful and wise servant who his Lord shall make ruler over his house to give them their portion of meat in due season? Now, y'all, look at your own house. If you, you ain't got to go to your house. Just take your own little body, what your department is, and what you got to do, and what God has assigned for you to do. Amen? Amen. Amen? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, findeth him doing. Mm -hmm. God set you, God set you in order? Mm -hmm. Do what he said do. I don't care how good life is to you. Amen. In the rough. Mm -hmm. If God gave you the commission, you do what God said do. Amen? Amen. Of the truth, I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. God got something better for you if you just handle what he gave you right. You say it. No, you not that this body is the temple of the Lord? Uh, mm -hmm. Huh? I know you know it, but you don't know it because if you don't respect it or respect God, you'll miss the calling. Amen? Amen. Amen. Of the truth I say unto you that he will make you ruler over all that he has. But then if that servant we ain't going to let you leave you out. Maybe you just want to be disobedient. Maybe you don't want to respect God. Maybe you want to be the head of the things in the world over Christ. God didn't leave you out. That's why I ain't mad at you, no matter what you do. I might be sad for you or hurt because you do what you do, but I ain't mad at you. He said, look, but if that servant saying is hard, my Lord delay his coming. Oh, I'm just gonna play with it while I got time. I'm young now, you know. I got I got time. I ain't but fifty. I got time. Thank you, Lord. That's what that's 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 the practice that we use. That's the practice we use. Oh, I'm young. I'm pretty. Folks still like me. Ooh, I still got it, bro. Huh? Pastor Bowman said, so in your royal oak. You still got it. Because you done looked out and God ain't like man. No, no. You go knock on the wrong door now, you'll be running from bullets. Pow, 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 pow. That's right, that's right. Because God is a good God and, 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 and is long suffering and patient, waiting on you to repent. You ain't got shot in, so you still in the muck and mire. Amen? Yeah, yeah. You still digging deep in it, into where God is don't want you to be. Huh? Yes, sir. But if that servant saying is hard, my Lord delays his coming and shall begin to beat the men servants and the maid servants and to eat and drink and to be drunken. I party. I got a buddy I talked to on the phone, and, and he say, when especially when you get to Friday, and y'all know the slogan, it's Friday. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't got no work. I'm finna get down solid. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. Amen. And, a, and an hour when he is not aware uh -huh. and will cut him asunder. Y'all pay attention because God ain't playing. Uh, and will cut him asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers and that servant which knew his Lord's will uh -huh. and prepared not himself. I'm trying to get other folks ready now. Right now. And prepared not himself, uh -huh. neither did according to the will, to his will, shall be beaten with a million stripes. Uh -huh. Huh? Amen. So I'm going to tear that backside up. Yes, now, watch this. This ought to make you feel real bad. The 48 verse says this. But he that knew not and did not commit the things worthy of stripes, and then did commit the things worthy of oh, strike, shall be beaten with a few strikes. Uh -huh. For under whosoever much is given, 
of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, to him they will ask the more. Don't, don't be mad at folks when they, when, they, when they give you these high, high positions and then want you to do more. Mm. That's just knowing God the same way. He has blessed you and carried you so far and gave you a hand above every hand. Listen, yes. folks ain't got what you got. Yes, huh? Some folks ain't got no health and strength. Yes, Some folks ain't got no good life. Amen? Amen. God is after you and I. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He wants you to be a man after his own heart. Yes, yes. And it's by right so. And closing, I'm going through the 24th Psalm. 24th Psalm says, The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. <laughs> now, you got a house somewhere with a house no more, in it, and you call that yours, right? Is you going to let anybody come there and do anything they want to do? No, you ain't here. You better. I seen a dog fight when they get home. We in the fight too. Mm -hmm. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. We all belong to God. Sure. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Stop saying we our own. We can do whatever we want to do. Yeah. My God. I know you're grown. Yeah. You're of age. Yeah. But you ain't going to get so grown that you're going to be able to bypass God and his will. Because yeah. either through Obedience or disobedience, God is going to rule. Amen. And super rule in heaven and in earth. He already did it. He came and stayed where you, where you stay, stood where you stood, mm -hmm. walked where you walked. Mm -hmm. And when he had finished his time on earth, he told his father, say, I have done what you commanded me to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. His word. That's what Jesus said. I, I, I didn't come to do what I. I come to do, I come to do what my father do. What about you and I? Mm. Stop thinking about what you want to do and find out from the scripture what Jesus wants you to do. That's it. According to his word and walk there in. That's right. yes, Jesus did it. Yes, Lord. Jesus did it. Mm -hmm. And he did it a whole lot more, went through a whole lot more brutality than you and I will ever imagine. Yes, Thank Just think you own everything. You own everything. The scriptures say, God, God said, look, I'm going to send. They ain't doing nothing I said to do. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to send my servant. I'm going to send my servant to go over there and tell them about our agreement. They beat them servants and run them back off. God said, oh, man, I just can't, I just can't imagine how they can do me like this. I know what I do. I send my son. He sent his son over there. And they say, look, he the heir. He gonna get everything God had. Let us kill him. And that's what they did to Jesus. So don't feel guilty when you stand up for Jesus and somebody kills you. Amen. Or somebody tear you down. Amen. Or somebody belittle you. Amen. They did it to your Lord and Savior. Amen. And they'll do it to you. Amen. 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 But Jesus had a reward. That was beyond any any reward. God had given him a name that was above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess. Just laid it out for him. And Jesus was so obedient. They nailed him to a cross. Hands and feet. Took a sword and pierced him in his side. Man, I can hear me hollering now. Hey, dear, my friends. Why are y'all doing me like this? See, like a sheep before a shears and a lamb to the slaughter. Dumb. He didn't even open his mouth. He knew what he was purpose for. He knew what he was there for. See, when we know what our purpose is and why we're really here, it won't seem so brutal to us. Because we know after all the things have come to pass, the brighter day ahead. What y'all say? Joy, come in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. That's your joy in the morning. Jesus. 
Jesus suffered and died uh, uh, on the cross. Stayed in the grave for three days, but early Sunday morning, uh, he got up. Yeah. And he declared before heaven and earth, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Commissioned the ones that were following him and told them to do a teach of baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and then say, look, don't be scared. Don't be afraid, because no, I am with you, even to the end of the earth. God bless you. God keep you forever and evermore, Pastor Mom. Amen. 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 That might be somebody here today.